Hey Kumas, how's it going? I just wanted to give you guys a little update on the channel as well as what has been going on recently. Um, you may have noticed that Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain has been delayed now for over a week. Um, the reason behind this is basically a copyright claim from Konami. Unfortunately, when you upload video games on YouTube, you can more or less expect this sort of thing to happen, especially from Konami. Uh, what they basically didn't like was that about 10 seconds of the episode was a cutscene. Now you might be thinking, what's the big deal? Well, I don't think it's anyone or any employee from Konami flagging this. I think it's their automatic, you know, sort of bots on YouTube that um, automatically flag content. And the process for it is basically me filing a counterclaim, uh, which I've done so maybe five times with Konami already. So I'm beginning to really copy and paste uh, the counterclaim because what ends up happening is I send a counterclaim, uh, they receive it and I have 30 days to respond and they never respond. I don't even think they read it. And if they do read it, they probably do realize that um, the Let's Play video which I upload does fall under fair use because I am playing the video game and the cutscene is part of the video game and it's part of my playthrough of the video game and I'm adding commentary so I'm in no way um, taking their work, claiming it as my own and profiting from it. I'm basically adding value to it through, you know, my commentary and reaction and my gameplay and whatnot. So, you know, they're pretty much cool with it because it provides them with the free advertising and, you know, they kind of let every other YouTuber in the world do it anyway. You know, what that basically means for basically the Ninja Kumba channel is that uh, every time I upload a Metal Gear Solid episode, I more or less risk that Konami's got to automatically flag it and delay the release by 30 days. So practically that means that every now and then the episode release might be delayed by 30 days or with the potential solution that I came up with was that I have to more or less make sure my videos are uploaded more than 30 days ahead of their release schedule, which basically means I have to edit, you know, four or five weeks ahead of you know, the upload schedule, which is going to be a little bit tricky now. I've up, I've more or less uploaded um, two episodes ahead. I'm actually uploading episode 24 now as we speak. Um, and the episode which I cannot release yet is episode, I think, 22. So I'm almost at that sort of um, benchmark of uploading weeks in advance. Uh, so hopefully there's no there's no longer going to be a delay because if there is a copyright claim, I can basically do a counterclaim and it's going to be cleared uh, by the time the release schedule sort of comes up. And this creates a problem because I would really like to get the Metal Gear Solid 5 um, storyline done because, you know, we've sort of been playing it for six months now. We're only up to episode 22. So I'd really like to pull out two, three episodes a week. But the problem with that is if I have to upload 30 days in advance, that means I literally have to edit, I don't know, 30 times four or 30 times five episodes in advance. And that's a little tricky considering I'm a full-time uni student with a part-time job. And plus I have whatever remnant of my social life that is left. And I also do other things. So I am probably going to be stuck at doing one episode a week for Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Um, I think we have to wait till I think the 18th or the 19th of this month, which for me is three, four days from now, because it's currently the 14th of April. I don't know when this video will be uploaded, but basically we have to wait four or five days uh, before the before Konami has a chance to, you know, respond to the um, copyright counterclaim, which I don't think they will. And as soon as that drops off, I'm basically going to re release the episode. Um, episode 22 is getting uploaded, and I don't think there's going to be any copyright issue because there is no cutscene in it. But episode 24, unfortunately, does have a cutscene, which means it's probably going to be automatically flagged, uh, which I think is ridiculous considering the fact that the, I don't know, first hour of Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain is about 90% cutscenes. And I had absolutely no problem with that, but every single other subsequent cutscene in the game, they have a problem. But they don't have a problem with the big YouTubers quite literally uploading the entire cutscene not even with them playing it or their reaction. They just upload the entire cutscene and get over a million views and Konami doesn't have a problem with them, but apparently me playing with a, you know, 20, 30 second cutscene, um, you know, violates copyright.
which doesn't make any bloody sense. So apparently on the YouTube system, anyone that has over, I don't know, two, three million subs is basically untouchable. Whereas little old Kuma, um, I'm not even old, you know, file him for whatever. And the beautiful part is YouTube doesn't even answer my emails. I have emailed YouTube several times and they basically haven't even responded. And my emails were basically, I'm getting automatically flagged every single time I upload an episode in the series. And every single time I send you the exact same counterclaim email, which 30 days later drops off because Konami never replies. Um, is there any chance someone could take a look in this and maybe in the future when they give me the exact same copyright claim, maybe look at it and maybe skip the whole 30 days they have, you know, an opportunity to reply just because they never reply? YouTube basically never replied. I can't really do anything, you know, YouTube holds all the cards, unfortunately. Um, also, League of Legends was also set back a little bit because of the same reason. Yes, but League of Legends doesn't have a cutscene. For some reason, some of the sounds in League of Legends were automatically flagged by some random organization in Africa. So basically, there's some guy out there that started a company in Africa which automatically flags League of Legends sounds. And apparently, that was the sound of one of Ari's abilities and Kali's ability within the same five second segment which kind of sounds ridiculous, but it would make sense because if that particular sound happens, it automatically flags and he basically gets the copyright for the video, which I think is ridiculous and YouTube should really look into that. So basically that episode was pushed back from last week and that counterclaim is still in the process of giving them the opportunity to answer, which you're not gonna do, that's gonna drop off in about five, six days anyway. But basically I had to edit another entire episode which was the Ascension New Game Mode episode. Um, edit it, um, get it sort of uh, rendered, sorry. And then I have, have to have it uploaded. But unfortunately, um, editing is not really hard anymore for me. I'm slowly improving over time and it's getting quicker. Uh, rendering takes, I don't know, twice the length of the episode length. So if it's an hour long episode, it takes two hours. If it's 30 minutes, it takes an hour. The problem is uploading. Uploading a League of Legends um, video, which is about four or five gigabytes, actually takes 14, 15 hours. And like with Ascension, I was uploading it and it uploaded to 88% and that Google for some reason freaking crashed. And Google has a nice little feature which lets you resume the upload within 24 hours. Um, and you can basically resume your upload. Unfortunately, that did not work for my video. So I had to upload it from 0%. Mind you, I did email Google. They didn't give a shit. And I uploaded from 0% to 100% again. And the video was processing. Then it got stuck at 66%. And guess what happened? The video basically got canceled. So I had to upload it a third time. Um, which it did successfully upload this time and it did successfully process and then I released it. So I basically spent around 45 hours within a period of three days uploading this episode. And you know, you guys know my internet, it basically means my internet was slower than dial up while I was uploading. Um, so I basically did that and I was unable to put any updates on YouTube because obviously if I'm putting an update video on YouTube, I'm not gonna be able to upload something else. But the first thing I did um, as soon as the hop, uh, copyright claim actually hit my first video was I went on Twitter and I went on Instagram. I put like a message, I put a screenshot. And I basically said, look guys, the League of Legends, the Metal Gear Solid video is going to be delayed. So for you Kumas that actually follow me on Twitter and Instagram, one or the other, or even the Facebook group, you guys got that update. For you Kumas that didn't follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you guys didn't get the update. So you guys were kind of in the dark. So if you guys really want to keep up to date and know what's actually happening, um, please follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. Pick your poison, pick all three, pick two out of three, pick one, you know, pick whichever one you want. The links are down below in the description. Um, that's where I post updates. I'm really trying to get my Metal Gear Solid 5 upload schedule 30 days in advance, which is a little tricky with my upload time. So you could guess uploading an episode which takes 12 to 15 hours to upload 
does make it a little bit difficult, which means in a 24 hour period, I can only upload one episode. And in that time, I cannot really use my internet, which is really unfortunate. I really hope to move into a place with a lot better internet. And yeah, I do have broadband, um, but unfortunately broadband gives me about five to six megabytes a second download speed and only one megabyte a second upload speed, which you would think is awesome for uploading videos. But unfortunately, it's not always one megabyte a second upload speed. It also depends on the YouTube servers as well. So fun times. So yeah, that's basically what's been happening. Um, if you guys want to get the updates as soon as this sort of happened, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. I basically update those daily. I, I was actually sending about three, four messages on Twitter a day and probably one or two image posts on Instagram a day while this was happening. One of them was a status update on, yay, the episode's updating. And like 10 hours later was like, oh crap, it crashed. And now YouTube won't actually let me, you know, resume the upload. And then the funny thing is I actually attached the image and tweeted uh, the CEO of YouTube. And of course I did not get a reply because you know, YouTube doesn't reply to small YouTubers anyway. Oops. Great, I got water on my Dangarompa shirt. Yeah, this is Monokuma from Dangarompa. I love this shirt. Yay, I love it. I basically got it as a gift um, early in the new year. You are actually going to see me wearing it in future episodes a fair bit. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, some of the episodes that I have been releasing were actually recorded like months ago because, you know, you see my hair and whatnot. But that's mostly because, like, <laughs> I'm not only going to play an hour of Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain, you know, once a week. I've played a crap ton of Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain and now I'm sort of editing out the old footage. I've actually completed the game. I've actually completed the entire storyline and that's why I'm trying to sort of edit out the game because I really want to get you guys up to date on the storyline just because it is an awesome story. Focus. There you go. Good camera. I want to get the storyline out of the way because I really want to move back in time and actually replay the older games. I want to play Metal Gear Solid 1, which Konami is basically going to make impossible for me because they basically copyright everything related to Metal Gear Solid 1 including the Twin Snakes, because Nintendo sucks. Honestly, you're not going to see many Nintendo games on YouTube for a reason. They literally screw you on the copyright thing. So, nice work, Nintendo. Your profit is going down to shit. Um, <laughs> there's a funny video by Dorkley about this. I might actually link it below. I don't think I'm getting in trouble by Dorkley by linking to one of their videos anyway. I want to play Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, 4. I want to replay it because I haven't played it in years. And sort of I want to share the experience with you guys because it's the sort of journey that I went through when I was a lot younger back in 2001, 2002. And I really want to go through it again uh, with you guys and really point out a lot of the Easter eggs, explain a lot of the story. So if you guys have never played the original Metal Gear Solid games, you guys would love it because I would literally take you through it step by step the entire game, you know, without adding any spoilers and you guys would just love it. And any of you guys that have played it, you might learn something new, you might not, but you're definitely going to get a nostalgia hit, which would be awesome for everyone. So we could go through that journey. Hopefully that will happen at a time that I can actually stream. So I would actually be able to stream it. You guys would actually be able to comment at the same time, and then I can upload the feed later. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that would happen. Um, if not, then I'm just going to record and upload it anyway, as per usual. Um, other than that, well, if I do actually get to streaming, I will stream a lot more video games. I'd actually be playing a lot more video games, but unfortunately I can't stream at the moment. So I basically just record anything that I play and I pick sort of the best footage and I try to turn it into an episode, which is actually a little more tricky than you guys would imagine. So I hope you guys appreciate the work that I'm actually putting in. I've always tried to improve every episode. So every episode, I try to make it better than the last one. Um, if you guys have been watching a series from the beginning, you may notice that. This is, this is sort of, I mean, you could see this in all my series, in my League of Legends, in my South Park, in my WoW guys, in my Metal Gear Solid. You will see over time that there has been more editing. I've been cutting out more boring parts. I've been adding more sound effects. I've been adding more sort of, hey, computer, don't go to sleep. You're not allowed to sleep. Bastard. I've been adding, you know, more stuff and I'm really, really learning a lot. And um, this is partially why I actually haven't uploaded my 1000 sub secret video. I'm sorry for that. I actually have the footage ready. Um, I don't want to spoil it, but I did film something while I was in holiday in Japan. 
it took like a month, month and a half of preparation before I could film it. And then I filmed it and I have the footage. But the problem is that I did not have the necessary skill at the time to edit this video. I sort of had the vision in my head, but I did not have the sort of skill to edit the video in such a way. And I haven't, I, I have not even begun to edit it, but I sort of have the image in mind of what I want to do, which is why I'm experimenting a lot in my recent videos with effects and sounds and colors. You might notice that you might not because I really want to make this video really special. Honestly, I did not think I would hit a thousand subs that quickly and we're already on 1.6 thousand. So it's it's rising exponentially. So I'm a bit worried we're going to hit 2,500 subs or 5,000 subs by the time I actually get my 1,000 sub video. So please do not panic, put down the pitchforks, you know, like turn off the torches. I'm going to get that video out. Uh, like I, I don't want to rush it. I want to make it I, I, like I only have one shot to get this video right and I want to do it properly so please don't kill me for the delay um, and I also have a video idea for the 10,000 sub video which is not gonna need as much editing as the 1,000 sub video I don't know why I you know put it out this way but I can't do that 10,000 sub video idea for the 1,000 sub video because it actually requires four or five people a car um, a few shovels and a few plastic bags. What the hell was that? So, don't worry, we're not killing anyone. At least I don't think we're killing anyone. Um, <laughs> please don't call the police. Come on, guys, it's a joke. I mean, I have a dark sense of humor. I'm Serbian. But, yeah. Um, also, I've actually been recording a few more things. I've actually recorded GTA Online a little bit. I've also recorded Metal Gear Online. I've recorded a little bit of CS and I've been playing Danganronpa. So you guys might notice a few new videos coming up. Um, the real limitation that I have is the upload speed. I would like to upload seven days a week, but the problem is I need that two day buffer in case an upload fails. Because if I'm uploading seven days a week, that means I have to, with a 100% success rate, upload a video within 24 hours. And as we saw this week, well, in the previous, who the hell messages someone at 1.05 a.m.? Oh, obviously people that don't know boundaries. Um, <laughs> as we saw in the past week, that is not always going to happen. Sometimes it's going to be my fault and sometimes the YouTube servers are just going to be shit. I'm sorry, I'm not taking a lot of shots at YouTube, but you guys are Google. You guys are the tech experts in IT. Like, you guys are the shit. So, get your shit together. Um, <laughs> I hope they don't fuck up my stats and put me at the bottom of the search bar just because I'm saying something like, make YouTube great again. Because I would really like to be here for a while and I would actually like to continue making videos because the more videos I make, the more fun it becomes. Uh, if I can ask you guys something, um, comment. Uh, I'm not saying this, please comment on my video because I want comments. No, I read them. One of the best feelings that I had today was I was basically just, you know, reading comments because, you know, I just sit down and I sort of read comments for the lols. And um, I finished reading them. I started playing a game and then I got a notification tag that someone commented on one of my Heroes of the Storm videos. Now, if you haven't noticed, I sort of stopped recording Heroes of the Storm. Um, it got a little bit boring. Uh, my software wasn't able to record it. I don't know why. My Elgato for some reason couldn't record it in HD properly. They kept, you know, kept tearing on the screen for some reason, all the other games worked fine. So I tried recording with OBS and for some reason OBS would keep freezing on Heroes of the Storm. Doesn't freeze on any of the other games. It's not a hardware issue. It's a software issue somewhere. OBS and Heroes of the Storm are for some reason not compatible. I don't know what Blizzard client is doing. For some reason it won't let me record it. So I basically got sick of it. I stopped playing it for a while, you know, it stopped being fun. And someone commented on one of my old videos and I was like, oh my God, that's awesome. And I sort of replied back and it made me feel that sort of feeling I had back in World of Warcraft, that sense of sort of community when, because I love that sense of community when people actually respond back and forth. Like if I had the opportunity to go back in time, I would literally sit in Orgrimmar all day and just chat with people on Trade Chat or chat with people in my guild. That's one of my greatest memories. But unfortunately now my guild is basically dead in World of Warcraft because Warlords of Draenor was a one 
content patch expansion after all that hype. So all my guildies are basically now just in the Facebook group waiting till WoW Legion hits. And if WoW Legion tanks like Warlords of Draenor, well, my guild's gone to shit and I'm going to have to look for, you know, friends somewhere else. <laughs> Probably outside. That would be terrible. Nah, friends outside. Well, sort of. Um, so yeah, so when someone actually comments on a video, I will, if possible or appropriate, reply because it's actually fun. Conversation is cool to me. So I actually read all the comments, nasty or whatnot, but especially when I'm saying something opinionated, I actually want to hear your opinions on the matter because, well, by commenting, you're basically stating what you think, you know, you think I'm right, you think I'm wrong, you think I'm an asshole. State it. I mean, I, I will admit when I started watching YouTube years ago, I would never comment. And ever since I started a channel, I became more and more active commenting on other people's videos and whatnot. I mostly never commented because I never thought anyone would actually read it. And I've actually noticed that people read it, even content creators, even content creators on channels that have over a million or 5 million subs, they actually read it and sometimes they actually reply, which I think is pretty cool because that sort of gives me direct communication with other people. And the comment section on my videos is an opportunity for you guys to actually be in direct communication with me. I mean, of course, you can send me a message on Facebook like some people have, but I only check the message inbox on my Facebook like once a week, whereas I check my comment section on YouTube daily. So use the comment section because not only I but other people are gonna read it as well. And other people might have the same question or the same opinion, and they might also comment and conversations will spark up. And you know, you've got this whole community going because some people have been responding, on, uh, not responding, but messaging on multiple videos, different things. And I love seeing that because they're, they're really active and I like sort of getting in touch with them and sort of, you know, chatting and like commenting and whatnot. And it's memorable. Like I, I sort of remember the people who do that. So if you're sort of shy, don't be, I don't, bite. Like, I'm not Monokuma. I'm not going to rip your head off. Um, maybe, but <laughs> I like doing that. And guys, don't start fights in the comment section. I've seen it happen a few times and I really, really try to avoid that as much as possible just because let's just all be friendly. Like, I, I mean, trolls, yeah, trolls come and go. Okay. I've, I've been trolled a few times in my comment section. That's cool. I accidentally fed the trolls. I walked right into it. I deserve that. Um, with trolls these days, I mostly ignore them or try to troll them back. So if you see me doing that and you realize that I'm trolling them, that's cool. You can go along with the act. That's perfectly fine. But if you don't realize that I'm trying to troll someone back and you fall into the troll and then I'm trolling a troll up, but then you accidentally feed the troll by not realizing that I'm trolling, it gets really messy. And then you might get upset and angry at me something. I don't know. You might, but <laughs> comment section, be active. Like that's where you can state your opinions. If I'm even just uploading a chill session video, which I will be doing for World of Warcraft very soon. I mean, I discussed a lot of topics. One of them was Britney Spears's boobs. I know, right? I mean, you can post your opinion. No, don't worry. I wasn't like seeing what size there were or anything like that. Just put the pitchforks down. <laughs> I was discussing other things. Um, you can watch my WoW video. I'll probably provide a link either on the video or in the you know, description below. Um, and yeah, I was discussing WoW Vanilla. I was discussing, you know, other things, honor farming and whatnot. Like, that's the reason why I want to live stream because I will basically have people or well, people will have the opportunity to automatically comment in the, you know, chat box and automatically communicate with me after I say something and then I can respond to it. I respond to it. But right now I cannot because I'm filming the video, editing it, then I upload it and then you guys are sort of watching it and then you can comment after the fact. But that's cool because I'm reading it. I sort of remember what's in the video, guys. I probably spent an hour or two editing the damn thing. I know what I said. I mean, if you guys want to sort of point out at what point of the video I, you are responding to, you can just basically go like, you know, five minutes, double dot, 52 seconds, dash, say this. I do that on a lot of people's videos. Then they know what I'm responding to. You can do that. Um, or you can just flat out, you know, send a comment or something. So yeah, it's like, <laughs> just tell me what you guys think. Even if you think it's funny, you can tell me it's funny. If you think it's not funny, you can tell me that it's not funny. If you think that I'm a sexist, chauvinist kuma, you can just tell me that. I mean, I'm not really going to get offended. I'm I like, 
tell me what you think. I'm, I'm not going to take it badly. Like, God, I've heard terrible things. Have you guys not seen my comment section? There's literally been people telling me to go, you know, hang myself or shoot myself or delete the channel or, you know, do this. And people telling me that I'm gay and all this sort of stuff. Like, I honestly do not care. Like, I'm not gay, but like, I wouldn't really care if I was. So, like, certain people around me would worry because they're under the impression that I'm not gay. Wait, I'm not gay. Am I? Or aren't I? I don't know. Does it, does it even matter? <laughs> no, I, I honestly don't care. Like, I'm just one of those guys that doesn't care. Um, One idea that I actually had... Oh, no, I don't want to spoil that. Anyways, just tell me guys what you think. Tell me guys what you want to see in the future. Tell me guys what you like, what you don't like. I mean, that sort of points me in the right direction. Like, if you guys like a certain topic... I can discuss it later on in another video. Or if there's a particular topic you guys want me to discuss, you can basically tell me what that topic is and then I can talk about it in a future video. So it's kind of one of those deals. You, uh, the more you guys put into it, the more guys... What the fuck? <laughs> the more you guys put into it, the more you guys are going to get out of it. So if you guys basically tell me, okay, go play this champion in League of Legends or go try out this tune in World of Warcraft, I would probably do it. But if you guys are just standing there silently in the black round, uh, black round? Oh my God, that is racist. If you guys are just standing there silently in the background, just clapping and going, this is an awesome episode because I love this, this and this. I probably won't know that you love this, this, and this because you guys never told me that you love this, this, and this. And none of you guys ever liked the video, so I don't know if you liked it or you disliked it. And then I look at the statistics saying you watch this many minutes of the video and I'm trying to figure out why you watch that many minutes and not the entire video. So, like, throw a kuma or a bone, guys. Like... <laughs> I make this stuff for you. Like, I love making it. It's really fun and I'm learning a lot of skills while doing it. I'm basically doing this for fun. But at the same time, I sort of get a real kick out of people enjoying my content. It, I don't know why. It just gives me a sense of accomplishment that there are actually people out there that enjoy my comment. And I sort of get a kick out of it that there are going to be certain people out there that have watched... I don't know how long this video is going to be, but they're basically going to watch to this point and then tell me to go kill myself. So I sort of get a kick out of that because, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, comment in the section below. I mean, you can send me private messages if you want. That's cool. I'm going to read them. But um, I respond a lot quicker. I respond a lot quicker to the YouTube comments than I do my Facebook messages just because I check them more often. I mean, if you've got a question in regards to a wow guy, put it in the comment section. Someone else might have the same question. I mean, I'll respond and I'm not targeting anyone or anything like that. And if you're, you know, one of two, three people that have been commenting me on Facebook. I'm not targeting you guys at all, um, but it's a lot quicker to get me to respond on the YouTube comments. And if you guys don't have a YouTube account yet, just make one, just link it to your Facebook or something. It takes like 20 seconds. I don't think you can link it to Facebook because it's Google and Google hates Facebook because they're in a freaking crusade against each other. Cause you know, Facebook is trying to take over the video world and YouTube's trying to take over the world and everyone's trying to take over the world and, you know. So, <laughs> oh God, I'm doing one of those things. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Did you come out? Bye.